Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your yarn host Jennifer today and all of this week we are going to be featuring yarn purchases and yarn reviews from local yarn shops that were a part of the James River yarn crawl in Vir the Virginia area. Now if you don't know I went to a yarn crawl and if you don't know that already have you not been watching my videos? Because that's shameful. <laughs> Go back and watch Monday's videos and last Friday's videos. I talked to you all about the James City, James, not James City, James River Yarn Crawl. I'm having a really hard time saying James River Yarn Crawl, James River Yarn Crawl. <clears throat> I have paired this up into two shops per video. So we're going to have three days. <clears throat> we're talking about two local yarn shops each. Um, and the reason I'm doing it that way is because there were five participating shops as a part of the yarn crawl. And <clears throat> I put a sixth in there. <laughs> that was not part of the yarn crawl. That it would have been cool if she was part of the yarn crawl because she's one of my favorite shops. Um, she was doing a sale and having her own little personal yarn crawl and so I very happily added her in so she will be featured that is the knitting bee enrichment she will be featured as a part of this even though she was not an official part of the James River yarn crawl and if that offends anybody oh well like it's my channel right <laughs> um, I've been to knitting bee several times that's why I'm including her I really like her shop I've had a lot of good things to say about her shop and the, the small time that I had a tiny minor issue was in regards to receipts. Um, the receipts get emailed to you automatically or sent to your phone and I went a couple times and didn't get a receipt and it's because they had my email address spelled wrong which was something so silly. Not only did they fix it but they backlogged into their computer system and sent me my past receipts which hello was fantastic. That was my only minor minor complaint. <laughs> Okay, other than that, we're not talking about Knitting Bee today. Today on the docket, I actually had to make a list of what shops I was going to pair together because the purchases I made at some of the yarn shops were much smaller. And so if I take the two smaller shops and put them together, it's going to be like a two minute video and that's kind of silly. Nobody wants to watch that. So I took the smaller shops and I put them with bigger shops so that it was a more well-rounded video. So today on the docket, we are doing Dances with Wool in Midlothian, which is a Richmond suburb, and um, Yarn Matters, which is in Williamsburg. Now, I wrote notes as I visited each shop so that I could remember th specific things about that shop. So we're going to cover that. We're going to do not only, hey, look what I bought, but I am going to also tell you my thoughts on the shops, my opinions, um, what I loved about the shop, um, that kind of thing. So that's, that's kind of what this week is going to be like. All right, so to start with, the five shops that were part of the yarn crawl were, and I'm not gonna recover this in every video, I'm just gonna recover it in this video, was Dances with Wool in Midlothian, Center of the Yarniverse in Ashland, Yarn Matters in Williamsburg, The Yarn Club in Virginia Beach, and Baba Sheep, which was in Norfolk. And then the shop that I added in was Knitting Bee, which is in Richmond. <clears throat> And is not a part of it. They're not. There's no connection between those shop, the the knitting bee, and the other five. She she was not part of the the yarn crawl, but she is doing a sale for the same days as the yarn crawl, and she's calling it her own little yarn crawl. So it's all good. It's all good. Okay. So, um, I I'm doing these also out of order. So the order I visited the shops in were. Dances with Wool, let me go backwards. Dances with Wool first, Center of the Yarniverse second. Third, I went to <clears throat> Yarn Matters. And then the following day, I did Yarn Club, Baba Sheep, Knitting Bee, Home. I also threw 757 Creative in there on Saturday, but we'll talk about that probably on Friday because that's going to be a little man 
video. Um, all right, let me go back to my notes. Dances with wool. I already forgot which video. What video am I on? What video am I on? Yarn Matters. What did I buy at Yarn Matters? This. <laughs> Not a lot. I lost my stitch marker. There it is. All right. Now first, Dances with Wool. I am going to include video clips and pictures and I don't know how that's going to look. You may have already seen them. You, I may clip them in somewhere in the middle of the video. I don't know how I'm going to edit this video. Um, I don't know that I, t I took a couple pictures but I will probably put those at the beginning of the video. Um, I may have already put the video in. Like, I don't know. Welcome to Cinnamon Stitches Land. We are not organized. <laughs> Okay, Dances with Wool. I've been to Dances with Wool twice now. I visited Dances with Wool when they opened up at the current location they're at. From what I remember, because this was a while ago, they switched locations. I didn't know about them before they switched locations. And when they switched locations, we were going to be in the area. And I was like, I would really like to stop and see this new shop. She just opened her new location. And so we stopped in and she was not really set up yet. She was very empty in her new space. And so I think, if I recall, I didn't purchase anything that day. I think I walked around a little bit and I think we left and went to a different store because at the time, from my memory, her tables, she had just tables in there and they were very sparse, just bare. And if you know Cinnamon Stitches, and a lot of you really know Cinnamon Stitches. I love color. And I'm not talking like red, blue. I'm talking color. Slap you in the face color. I love color, okay? Neons, brights, rainbows. These are the things that make me happy, <laughs> okay? If I walk into a yarn shop and it's a lot of just solid colored yarn and variegated, I, I, I do not work with solid yarns very frequently and if you look in the background you will see works of art that are created in highly variegated yarns that looks so amazing in the background because it goes Ooh. <laughs> so variation love variegated yarn that is what i was looking for also i made a list before we went shopping I had to look for specific bright colors that made my brain light up. If you don't know, there is some sort of neurodivergence in my head and I absolutely get so bored and will get upset with a project if it doesn't have enough color because it makes, my, it makes me feel so <sighs> tense and anxious and irritated if there's not something that is lighting my brain up. So that's one of the main reasons I work with a lot of color is because it, it sparks something inside my body that just brings joy and makes me want to work on it. I cannot wait to see how it turns out. I can't wait to do the next five stitches so that I can see how the pattern, like it's all those things just light my brain up. It just makes me happy. So that's what I was looking for, bright colors. Also, I have a ton of fingering weight yarn, a ton. And I don't reach for it first because it takes so long to work with. And being that I am such a busy person in life in general, between family responsibilities, having a special needs child, uh, like <laughs> having children that I didn't birth to take care of, like all these extra responsibilities that are on my shoulders all the time. Um, also, the, the, the weight of the channel, running the channel is a ton of work. And if you're a cinnamon bunny, you already know all the behind the scenes thoughts on that. Um, in this part of my life right now, working on a project with fingering weight yarn is not ideal. And I don't have the time to dedicate to a long term project like that because I'm doing things for the channel a lot. And um, I really wanted to stick to DK or worsted weight yarn. I found almost zero worsted weight yarn that were in like the bright vibrant colors. I found some really beautiful bulky yarns, but I, again, staying away from the bulky because I don't work with bulky a whole lot. DK is my favorite. <laughs> I love DK. I, I like working with worsted a lot. So that was my goal. I was like, this is what I want. 
bright colors that I can't live without. DK or Worsted. I did buy some fingering. So you are going to see that over this week. And then I also wanted to buy what I, what I refer to as fluff, which is wool that you can spin. Those were my goals. I also was on a very strict budget. It was, it was a decent sized budget, but it was very strict and I had to be really careful with what I purchased. Um, and so going into Dances with Wool, I had all these things in mind. It was my first shop. I was extremely nervous. It's my first yarn crawl. I was sick to my stomach nervous because I had all of this weight on my shoulders of I need to stay in budget. I can't overspend. Like just right now, I just really needed to stick to budget. I, I was nervous about the whole thing. I was nervous about getting my passport stamped, which was stupid. I walk in. There's a handful of people in there. Um, I was greeted by, I cannot for the life of me remember her name. It was either Kim or Deb. It was something short, like three letters, something like that. I don't remember. I'm sorry. I don't remember. <laughs> it was a couple of days ago. Um, she was an older lady. It was not Erin. Erin is the one I see most often on the Facebook page. I cannot remember her name. Anyway. I, I do apologize if you're watching this because I did tell her I was making a video. And um, I, she, she explained where everything was. The trunk shows were in a back room. She's in basically a house. It is a house. A big house, but it's in a house. In a industrial park. <laughs> it's a really cool place to visit. You got a big giant porch you can go and sit and knit and crochet on. Or spin your yarn. They, they support all of those things. And it, it's... My experience in the store is, first of all, the first time I went, I didn't buy anything because she didn't have color. She didn't have a whole lot of inventory at the time. So we left the very first time, but I still I wanted to give her another chance. The second time I visited Dances with Wool, she, it was on happenstance. I was like, isn't there a place over here? We were going to pick up a car for my daughter's prom last year. She graduated high school last year. We went to go pick up a car in Richmond that we were renting to drive her around for her prom. And we went down to Richmond. I was like, isn't there a yarn shop we went to down here? And I'm looking, I was like, and I see Dances with Wool in all its glory and tables. And a sign at the side of the road that said yarn yard sale or something like that. And I was like, <laughs> there's a video on what I purchased for that yarn sale. They basically have where you can set up tables for the yard sale and sell off overstock from your stash. I got some amazing killer deals on gorgeous yarn from people that were just de-stashing. Amazing, amazing. I am planning on going again this year if they have it again because I got some killer deals, okay? They also had a little booth set up. I bought the kids some Amigurumi from, I want to say Aaron's daughter. That's who I think it was, because I think it was at Aaron's table. Um, I could be wrong about that. We bought, I bought two turtles for the kids. I bought a turtle for each one of the kids. I think I bought something else. I, and I know I still have it, because I, I believe it's over there, but I don't remember what it was. Anyway, it, none of that matters. So this is my third time actually visiting and they had five trunk shows going five trunk shows so that means five different yarn dyers or it was dye, i believe it was all yarn dyers set up little tables in there with their product showcasing it so there was 29 bridges i don't remember all of them i purchased from 29 bridges because her color was amazing 29 bridges there was something foxes little foxes um let me open up i'm gonna open up the website so that i can see because i want to get their names correct dance i'm gonna actually go to their uh their facebook dances with wolf facebook and see if it's listed there where is it they post a lot dances with wool is actually very um they're very much on social media and their Facebook is the most posted on 
of all of the stores that I'm talking about. All right, where is it? They have a lot of deals and sales going on, so I gotta scroll way back. It might be on their website. Dances with Wool. James River Young Crawl. Where is the information? Q Bentley. I am not seeing it. Menu. There it is. Trunk shows. Where's the trunk show? And I don't know if the trunk shows were just this past week. Okay. Terrapin Fiber Works. They have plant-based fibers and their their fibers were beautiful but they were a lot of just solid colors or slightly variegated yarns and I didn't like the feel of some of them not that there was anything wrong with them but I hate working with like linen and stuff like that and so uh, I didn't like the feel of some of their yarns they were beautifully deep saturated colors though if you're into solids you would love terrapin fiber works 29 bridges which is made in Maryland little fox Emma's yarn then they had Della Q, which is bags um, and then it says Camp Stitchwood I don't remember seeing anything Camp Stitchwood all right also a lot of these shops are giving away freebies or little goodies if you spend a certain amount so if you spend $75 or more you get a free pair of folding scissors these are just I actually hate these folding scissors, but <laughs> I got a free gift, so like, whatever. Um, I just don't like folding scissors. Yes, they're they're not usually very sharp, but I mean, I like freebies. And then if you spend $150 or more, you get a reusable tote. I did not spend $150 or more. I walked in, I was greeted immediately. I was told where the trunk shows were at. I went to those first. I did a once over of the whole store. She has way more inventory than she had before. She actually has a whole corner of the shop that is just bags with sheep and stuff on them, like sewed up nice, really nice bags. I steered clear of that because budget and I don't need more bags. I have a hundred bags and I also make bags myself and so I don't need more bags. I love bags. That's my problem. All right, so um, maybe we'll insert the video right here of the walkthrough through the store, and I will show you and talk to you through what what I'm looking at. All right, here is one side of the store. Um, like I tell you in the video. Aren't these beautiful colors? Those braids back there are Kim Dye's braids. And this yarn um, directly in front of me is Terrapin Fiberworks, which is uh, plant-based fibers. Beautiful. They had a little kit that was, or a little shelf that was all the woobles. This was the 30% off that I got my purple braid out of. And those are Delacue bags. This is Emma's yarn. This is one of the trunk shows. It was beautiful and I really wanted some of those, but like I said, budget. That rainbow is everything. The one next to the rainbow is everything. This is the corner of, I believe, felting supplies. And here are some more of the trunk shows. This is 29 Bridges. I wanted that one so much. So much. She had fluff too for sale. Look at the colors. Oh, hot pink. Those blues. Just stunning. It was so hard to just pick one. Let's just look at all the yarn candy. And as you can tell, my eye was drawn immediately. 
to the crimson kisses you see that yep like oh that's mine here take that that's mine mine gorgeous came home with that spoiler alert all right this was spin cycle yarns i also really wanted one of those but i chose to get the crimson kisses from 29 bridges instead this is the i think this is the second the big room where the the um, checkout counter is there's so much to look at in the store she has such an amazing supply worsted yarns i didn't notice that sign until right this second that there was worsted but this rack right here in the middle you see the neons popping out at us oh my god i wanted all of those neons all of those i wanted all of them that blue is amazing hot pink you guys already know you already know beautiful shop well lit very bright very welcoming um dances with wool also is not knit specific so they don't just cater to knitters some shops absolutely cater to knitters and they don't care about crocheters and that irritates me to no end Dances with wool, I have not noticed that. And as a matter of fact, like I said, I bought crocheted amigurumi from her, from one of the vendors at her shop. So, it was a little girl. Probably teen, pre-teen, teenage years. So, um, they also do lots and lots of classes, courses, teaching chances, crochet, knit, spinning, Pretty much anything you can do with yarn, they want to talk about it. They do needle felting. They do all of the arts that involve yarn at Dances with Wool. And I really felt welcomed there. I felt really comfortable. And it was a beautiful store to start the adventure with. I'm just going to say that. Now, what did I purchase? I feel like I purchased more than this. Okay, so I just looked at my photos. This is all I bought. And... That is perfectly fine. <laughs> I thought I bought another hanko yarn, but I guess I didn't. My idea going in is I had a list. I wanted to check out all of the trunk shows. I did, and I picked one yarn from 29 Bridges that I could not live without. I kind of showed this to you guys already in yesterday's video. This is 29 Bridges Studios hand dyed yarns. That's their logo. I will link everybody below that I talk about in the video if I remember. They are 29bridges.com, 29bridges.com, or at 29bridges.com. This is the color Cheeky. Uh, it's a Merino DK. It's 231 yards of 100% superwash Merino. It's got my little Dances with Wool stitch marker. Also, whenever you make a purchase, you get a free stitch marker as a part of the crawl. It is um, knit and crochet friendly, which I love that they did that. These are the kind of stitch markers that I use most frequently is the lever back like this. And these colors are amazing. A little bit of orange. There is pinks and kind of almost purplies. And little specks of black here and there, like very little. Absolutely stunning, beautiful, vibrant. And one of the best parts of this is I have yarns that coordinate with these colors. So, <laughs> I mean, I have yarns that I can mix and match with these yarns. And that was one of the goals is to not just buy one single, oh, this is amazing color what am I going to do with one skein of yarn that's only 231 yards because these are not going to be in, made into hats at any time at any point they're going to be made into something I can wear or wrap myself in so the idea was buying either things that go with other yarn I purchased to make a set or I knew that well first of all I fell in love with these colors 
but I knew that I had these colors in DK weight at home because <laughs> they have been purchased recently. And this was the skein of yarn out of the whole shop that I just could not walk out the store without because it is gorgeous. 29 Bridges had some beautiful colors. Their yarn is soft and squish and lush. And um, yeah, check them out. Look how beautiful that is. Like, could you walk away from that? It is just beautiful. That reminds me of some really beautiful red lipstick. <laughs> and then the other thing I purchased was this because this was in a little tub that said 30% off. Now, if you don't know, I very recently started. Sorry, interruptions. I am a mom. <laughs> this was 30% off. And Mr. Cinnamon goes, and he knew one of the things that I wanted to purchase was more fluff. I call it fluff. It's combed top. I know this. I call it fluff. It makes me happy to call it fluff. This will be spun on my drop spindle at some point. But 30% off wasn't a really good deal. And so, you know I'm not walking away from fluff at 30% off. I'm not doing it. So, these beautiful purple colors. I have zero purple in my fluff I have a lot of pastel colors and so I don't have anything deep and rich like this so everything that I have been spinning has been really bright but I'm thinking plying purple with slime green would be so beautiful <laughs> and it kind of makes my heart happy to think about so because I was spinning the slime green and this was 30% off, this was coming home with me for sure. And Mr. Cinnamon spotted this. He's all, oh, now if you don't know, fluff can be anywhere from $17 to $50. Dependent, this was nowhere near $50. And it was 30% off. So I don't know exactly what I paid for it. But this is Sweet Georgia Unapologetic Color Craft Since 2005, Polworth and Silk. So it's 80% Polworth wool, 15% Tessa silk. It's 100% or 100 grams of spinning fiber in this really pretty braid with shades of blues and purples. And it's beautiful. I think maybe it was clearanced out because it's getting really like fluffed up from being tossed around a lot. Like I can tell that it's been tossed around a lot. But that's just, you know, something that happens with wool because it's so soft and delicate until you twist it. And then this beautiful braid is from a local Virginia dyer called Kim Dye's Yarn. I'm familiar with Kim Dye's Yarn because I actually have one hank that Mr. Cinnamon bought for me from the store in Har Rockwood Yarn in Harrisonburg. Harrisonburg. Harris Harrisonburg. I always say that wrong. Anyway, Rocktown Yarns has Kim Dye's yarn. It's the first time I heard of Kim Dye's yarn. She is local Virginian. She's hand dyed in Virginia. Apparently this says colorway of the month. So I'm assuming she does a different colorway every month. This is from May of 2023. This is the color Marigold. But this is totally giving me campfire feels. And it's got little, looks like little singe bits on it. It's not singed. It is not in any way sent is so soft the whole thing you know the the sooty part and you guys know color i love color i just love love how pippy long stockings is coming into your world <laughs> i gotta put it on my head i gotta so this is 75 percent paul worth wool 25 percent tessa silk so it's almost, it's really similar to the same content as that. I even think those would be pretty together. So yeah, beautiful, beautiful braid. So we got our fiber. I didn't buy a lot of fiber at the locations I went to. Um, oh man, I'm out of memory, hang on. All right, I think we're ready to go. I had to delete a bunch of files, including a bunch of tutorials. So, like I said, Dances with Wool. Got a free pair of little scissors. Um, and my free stitch marker. Lots of options, no matter what craft you prefer. Knit or crochet or spinning or whatever. She had a lot of options. She had a whole corner shelf, I believe, of uh, needle felting stuff. So, 
she is a well-rounded, welcomes everybody type yarn store. Totally like Dances with Wool. I will continue to go back to Dances with Wool. Um, it was really an enjoyable experience for me. Now, the next shop that we visited was, well, Center of the Yarniverse, but we'll talk about that tomorrow. Um, the next shop I'm going to talk about today was Yarn Matters. I bought one thing there. Um, just one. Now, I'm going to say this. The reason I made the one purchase... Sorry, I had to switch memory cards. This one is acting up and telling me there's no memory left. Alright, so the second shop that we went to for today's video is Yarn Matters. Yarn Matters is a very small space. Now, I don't know what it's like on a non-yarn crawl day. <laughs> I was very uncomfortable in the store. I was very uncomfortable in the store. Um, not that there was anything wrong with the store. It's just that she had a very large trunk show set up with um, earth yarns, which I totally love earth yarns. The, sh the rainbow shirt that I was wearing is actually earth yarns yarn. I it is the... Um, the Earth Yarns Worsted Harmony is the colorway is what I made my top out of that I wore to this day of the the yarn crawl. I went into her shop again once again. I had a list of yarns I wanted to look at. Apple Fibers was one of them. Neil back. Apple Fibers was one of them. Skein Cocaine was another one. They really promoted Skein Cocaine, but they only had one colorway of Skein Cocaine, and it was not a colorway that I was leaning towards at all. And then CMS Co. Trunk Show was also going on. And the, the CMS Co. Trunk Show was on a table in a very small hall. It wasn't even... A, her entire shop was close to the size of my living room mixed with my breakfast nook in my house. So it was a very small space. It was, she had a little tiny room off the back of that that also had a little bit of yarn in there. Um, it was very small inside of there. She was in a large location. I don't know, it was a, it was again, it looked like a big house. There was a, upstairs, but I don't know if anything was upstairs because I don't think anything was upstairs. She didn't direct anybody to upstairs. Um, Earth Yarns was there, so Emre from Earth Yarns was there doing a meet and greet, and I was excited. I wanted to meet him, and when I arrived at the store, he was having his lunch, so I did not get a chance to meet him, so I was a little bit disappointed by that, because um, he actually, <laughs> I interacted with him on the internet, and I was telling him how much I love his yarns, and he's all, why don't you come visit? And I was like, I will be there, and then he was having his lunch when we showed up. Not only was he having his lunch when I showed up, but... Um, there was a, a full group of ladies that had been there prior that had decided to come back in again and further talk to Emre. So apparently he was very friendly and they he convinced them to come back and make a, a, a specific shawl or something. And they all came back to buy even more yarn and talk to him again about the product. And it became a situation where it was too crowded too quickly. There was all of maybe 10 people in her shop, but it was too much. And I actually got pinned in a corner because the way that the tables and stuff were set up in the center of the room, there was not room for me to bypass the groups of people that were on either side of me. And I started to feel very claustrophobic and uncomfortable. And I checked out Apple Fiber Studios. Beautiful yarn. Um, not bright, vibrant colors that I was looking for or leaning for. And CMS Co. also has some very beautiful yarns, but again, like nothing popped out or drew me in or said, oh, you, I have to come home with you. And then I saw a little tiny bookshelf with Ridiculous Yarns. Um, I am familiar with Ridiculous Yarns because I have Ridiculous Yarns in my stash. I've seen Ridiculous Yarns at several local yarn shops and I am drawn to her. I follow her on social medias. I love her colorways. And I, I, I'm familiar with her product. So this is the only thing that I purchased from Yarn Matters in Williamsburg. 
because I was extremely uncomfortable in the very small space of her store and um, not a lot of really bright vibrant colors that I tend to lean towards. That's not saying that her store is bad at all. It's just for the purpose of the yarn crawl and with having the two extra trunk shows and the Earth Yarn Trunk Show was a huge like I want to say 12 foot table of yarn. Like it was a huge long table filled with earth yarns and I have a stash of earth yarn so I was not looking to buy earth yarns. I was child number two, wanting to get Bentley out of here so he could go eat his breakfast. <sighs> I have no idea where I was. This video feels like it is very going to be 18 clips discombobulated. I do apologize for that. I am trying to get this together. Today is the day of the eclipse that I'm recording this. I opted on keeping little man home because the school is freaking out. They are putting out all these emails about what to do, what not to do, because the eclipse is happening at release time, and they're scared the kids are going to get run over, and they're scared the kids are going to get lost, and they're scared the bus drivers are going to have issues. And they're like, all, they're, they prefer you to come pick up your child beforehand so that they don't have to ride the bus at all, because then they'd be liable. It's like insanity. So I'm like, we're just going to stay home because the school is clearly freaking out and I don't know why they just didn't make it a half a day or like the other school district cancel school uh, I don't know so because of that I usually film on a day when nobody is home with me and that everybody's home today and even Mr. Cinnamon is coming home early <sighs> so I'm trying to fit a lot of videos into a short span of time before everyone is home before the eclipse so that I have editing to do throughout the week to get your videos up to you in a timely manner because honestly this has been the highlight of my month is going to the yarn crawl it's been the highlight of my month it's been the highlight of the year let's be real honest and i am more excited to sit in here and fondle my yarn purchases and tell you guys about my experiences than i am about the eclipse <laughs> I've seen a full eclipse. I photographed a full eclipse. I have amazing pictures from the eclipse from the last one that was over um, the Smoky Mountain National Park. So this is her Joker DK weight from Ridiculous Yarns. Um, it is 100% superwash merino. It is 231 yards. This is the color Spark. And this is the Yarn Matters stitch marker and her label popped um she needs to use better tape her tape always pops on those um but her yarn is phenomenal and she uses a lot of really bright colors which is why i really am drawn to ridiculous yarns and ridiculous yarns is in a lot of my local yarn shops the one that's actually in the city i live in doesn't carry ridiculous yarns but <laughs> Culpepper Knit Knitwit carries her. Um, Yarn Matters carries her. Um, I don't think she's at Knitting Bee either. But I've seen her at several places. And I adore her yarn. And look at these beautiful, beautiful colors. This looks like this might be Purple Pop because Purple Pop breaks. And I've worked with Purple Pop in the past. And it has the orange... And the pinks and purples and while they don't go together they could absolutely go together in a project and that is one of the themes i tried to do is stick with same colors so this has this is not quite the same color as this but it would go with it and yeah i would absolutely absolutely put these in a project together i absolutely would so beautiful beautiful colored yarns and that is day one of my my shopping experience and now what, the best part is that 
now that I'm done showing you these, I don't have to keep them separated. I can throw them all in a container together. I can cake them up and start playing with them. I can play with like, my yarn. <laughs> I can start spinning them once I get this green done. So thank you so much for bearing with me through day one. Now I get the joy of editing in all of the videos and the clips and doing voiceovers, but um, I'm really excited to share this experience with you. I said in yesterday's video, um, this was something fun that I saved up my money to do. And if you can't afford wool, if you can't use wool, like that's cool. Be happy for me because I'm, I'm really happy and I had a lot of fun. Um, if you're feeling feelings that are negative towards me, just don't leave them in the comments. Like nobody needs that. Because I know that when I when I tend to purchase like the more bougie style yarns, there's always one or two people that either have feelings of jealousy, envy, or um, just negative responses that, oh, she's getting the bougie yarn. She thinks she's better than me. That's not the case at all. I treated myself I had an amazing time. And that's the point of these videos is just to share with you my experiences. Say, hey, this is a really amazing shop. Go check out Dances with Wool. You will not regret it. Yarn Matters, it was a good shop. Um, really overcrowded. Felt really claustrophobic in there. But I, I suggest that if you want to check it out, you can go check it out. It's not my cup of tea, but she's a perfectly fine shop. She also does... Um, I believe that she does live streams in there because she has a little room set up off to the side for her live streaming with a cute little backdrop. Um, little disappointed I didn't get to meet Emre, but I understand he had to eat his lunch. I mean, he was entertaining crazy crochet and knit ladies all day, so he was probably starving. <laughs> he was ravenous. Um, his yarn is amazing. Earth, U-R-T-H. He is from Turkey. He lives in Florida, but he has ties and connections to Virginia, which is what was really cool to me because I didn't know any of that. I just know that they have very beautiful, vibrant yarns. I think I put it... I had a stash right here, and I think I put it up there of his yarns already caked up because I have, like I said, I have a stash of just the Earth Unique yarns. And unique is spelled U-N-E-E-K, which I have a joke about a unique rabbit that makes me think of every time I see unique, I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm going to tell the joke. How do you catch, and I've told this joke in the past on this channel, so if you saw it and you already know the answer, I apologize. How do you catch a unique rabbit? Unique up on it. How do you catch a tame rabbit? Tame way. <laughs> There's my joke for the day. Every time I see Unique Yarn, though, I'm like, uh, Unique Rabbit. Every time. Uh, so anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's video, we are talking about Center of the Yarniverse and Ba Ba Sheep. So you're going to want to watch that one, too, because I got some more beauties there. And every time I add new yarn in, because I'm, I'm, my purchases are stacked in front of me. Every time I show you a new yarn the following day, like, hey, we went here, but look at these yarns I bought. I'm going to show you what maybe I bought from the previous day that kind of goes with it. That I was thinking like, oh, these could be mixed together, that kind of situation. So you understand, like, I was just not out there throwing money at people and saying, I want this, I want that. I was really thinking about my purchases throughout the two days and the five, the six, the six yarn shops. And trying to think of what I could make a big, really colorful project with. And that's where, what we're doing all week. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.